Why are the contenders Joe Biden and Donald Trump, again? Last time around they both turned out the highest voter participation in 60 years and the second highest participation in almost a century. That's a tall order for a contender from either side to go up against. Inertia, I guess. It's pretty easy to see why two presidents former and sitting are popular in the pre-election polls. But it's way too early to make definitive statements about who the front runners are. Americans hardly vote, especially in primaries. Good luck. With the amount of hate and criticism and fake news, and smear campaigns candidates experience it's no wonder no sane person ever runs anymore. Romney stated he wouldn't run again even if asked because he wouldn't put his family through that again. Americans are toxic AF, and will from the comfort of their basements pile so much toxicity on political candidates that yeah, we're stuck with people who are either beyond narcissistic or simply out of touch. The two major US political parties are fully out of ideas. Because they are running. Nominees haven't been chosen yet, so it's possible their parties will choose someone else but it's not likely because former presidents tend to have better luck in elections. Because trying to become president is miserable and being president is thankless and difficult. They don't have to be. Register to vote and participate in the primaries. My question is, if not Joe Biden, then who? That hasn't been decided yet. Trump and Biden have both announced their intention to run. In order to win their party's nomination, they will need to campaign along with any other candidates who run against them, and the people in each state will vote in primary elections that will help guide each party's choice of nominee. Are these guys going to make America great again? XD. It's really sad to see people defending these guys in the comment section. They should not be ideal candidates to run for the position of the president. If I were a betting man I would bet on Trump not being on the ticket. But I am a betting man who betted on Hillary taking 2016. I think I even doubled down as the votes were being counted after seeing better odds lol. Free money I said. It's extremely common for the incumbent to run again. Usually their own party doesn't contest. If Trump is runs again, it's because he likes the attention and it's a way to avoid jail time. It's not offical yet. But the short answer is because American politics fucking suck. Two-party system is a joke. Trump the party doesn't want him, but they're held hostage by the mega wing of the party. Biden because that's who the donors want and the Democratic Party remains beholden to their corporate overlords. This is the best clown that Democrats have. I guess maybe. It would be great for Trump to lose to Biden again. There will be not vote from of our family to these guys. Still early. One of these fossils could still croak before November. Biden because he's the incumbent. Trump s Trump. There's still time for others to run. People are discrediting DeSantis but there's still time and Americans have severe short-term memory. When is Kanye gonna get his turn? It's because America is broken, and dying. If these two are the best we have, we need to tear it all down and start over. Of course I am for four-year term limits on all government officials. The only people who have announced are those two and Nikki Haley, ATM. It's a year off. Chill. Because they are the most popular ones. That's how democracy works. Because we live in a hell's cape. Because American politics are broken. I don't want Joe Biden to win the election not Donald Trump. He is even worse. Are we running out of options to elect someone to run our country? Both of them care about themselves. Not any of us. It's a new battle between two old men. Joe Biden Biden is totally clueless about himself and his position. They may not be. We have primary elections before general elections. Let's hope we have other options. Trump was basically the last gamble of a dying Republican Party.
and they got lucky since he was charismatic with the voters, and just happened to be running against one of the most disliked candidates ever despite being arguably the single most qualified candidate ever in Hillary Clinton. They're out of ideas, have no policy other than obstruction, Ron DeSantis is a universally regarded as cunt, and they are trying to capture lightning in a bottle twice. We don't know who will be the nominees yet. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? This is the sum of American politics at its finest. Cause giving you guys a choice wouldn't fit the style of American democracy. Because the government denied my application again. Because Joe Biden is president and has actually been pretty good, and Republicans are all racist shitheads. Because the intelligent, educated, caring, and sane are way outnumbered by the rest. Why are we still allowing people over 70 to hold positions of power in office? Because we are starting to fail. In a nutshell, Trump's mega followers have the gop by the you know what, and Democrats feel that Biden is their best chance of beating Trump, as they did in 2020. These comments ooze youthful ignorance and performative cynicism. Truth is, Biden has been a hugely consequential and accomplished president probably the most consequential since Reagan. The fact that a lot of his accomplishments will play out over years doesn't change the fact that he accomplished them, and with an historically partisan Congress. Because America is a dying country with two failed political parties. And the main job of both parties is to block outside change or improvement. If true, because the whole thing is fucked. Hear me out, we got two options to elect someone and we have two absolute clowns. Now my question is on what basis we going to choose any one of them. There is going to be cheating again at this election if Trump wins. I'm just hoping Kamala isn't the running mate. Because we are all fucking idiots and we are comfortable that way. Because Biden's the incumbent and Trump's a narcissistic idiot that about a quarter of the population loves for some incomprehensible reason. Because Americans are stupid. Because Americans are afraid of change. Because duopoly. Because this country is a circus. Because we are collectively dumb. Because the system wants to appear like we have a choice. Or that it matters. Because corporations own our government. Because the parties have corrupted the system. They aren't. So far. Donald Trump is running because he has no reason not to. He doesn't care about the Republican Party and could give a shit about what's best for the country. His whole shtick is based on confidence and ignorance, so why would he give a shit about anyone but himself? Joe Biden is running because everyone knows he can beat Donald Trump. That's it. What year is this? They aren't. Just because they say they are running doesn't mean the DNC or the RNC picked them. They're actually not. Trump isn't leading the latest polls his lying, shockingly. Incumbent and Trump has control over the Republican base, because the majority of them are stupid. Because we have learned nothing in the past eight years. Joe Biden is the incumbent and eligible for a second term and Donald Trump is a cult leader of the former Republican Party. Better question, is there literally anyone else? Both are too old. I don't know but I sure wish we had a better choice. The citizens of our country are dumb as fuck and fall for the illusion of choice created by bipartisanship. I feel this, for everyone in power it's this foregone conclusion. Biden has done some okay stuff, but he's done some fucked up stuff too, he shouldn't get a free pass to the championship. Put that dude next to some other real candidates and have him make his case again. As Carlin said we only have the illusion of choice. Because they all run for re-election and Republicans are insane. Because young people don't vote and old people do. I say this as an old person. Fuck on vote. Because Americans are fucking stupid crying face.